What's up, folks? I'm Chris, your MLB writer here at Occupy Fantasy, here with a look at the small five-game main slate tonight on FanDuel, DraftKings, and Yahoo for Thursday, June 16th. Really not a ton of different directions you can go tonight, but I do think there's a clear set of top options to select from. There's really four pitchers that you should be rostering in any format tonight. Our favorite, or really I should say my favorite, because he's a second in our model tonight, is Shoei Otani of the Angels, just $8,200 here on DraftKings. See, last time out against the Red Hot Red Sox, he pitched very well, got 26.2 DraftKings points for you. Uh, Otani, in, in our model, projects for... A really healthy 1.26 strikeouts per inning tonight against the Mariners. That's third highest in the model. Uh, that, that's very good on any given night in, in Major League Baseball. So we like him in this matchup as a slight favorite against Seattle. The other side of that matchup is kind of interesting. George Kirby is just $6,500 on DraftKings and projects for basically the same amount of strikeouts as Otani. Slightly more. Uh, slightly better beat recent batted ball data in Kirby's side than Otani's. As much as I love Otani tonight, his one wart is this really high batted ball distance, uh, furthest batted ball distance allowed of any starting pitcher on the main slate tonight. So that is one thing with him to worry about. Now, I guess I should talk about the pitcher at the top of the model. It's Luis Severino of the New York Yankees against the Tampa Bay Rays. He projects for the most strikeouts tonight, ever so slightly. He's the biggest favorite on this slate at minus 265 on the money line against the Rays. So he probably is a logical place to go, especially being just the second most expensive pitcher on the slate on DraftKings, third most expensive over on FanDuel. Zach Wheeler, I was a little surprised to see coming fourth here in the Occupy model tonight. Uh, I think he projects a little better than that just because I think his ceiling in terms of length is a lot further into a game than these other three guys. Uh, Wheeler routinely pitches into the seventh inning, and that tends to help the fantasy point scores stay a little higher uh, for starting pitchers, especially pitchers like Wheeler who have Good strikeout stuff. Now, we have him projected a little lower at just 1.03 strikeouts per inning. That's because the Nationals are actually one of the harder teams in Major League Baseball to strike out over the last month. So that's where that negative adjustment comes in. But if you think about low-risk contests especially, uh, Wheeler minus 200 on the money line. Lots of line movement in his favor in betting markets. It's a good high-risk play too. It's just our model thinks he's a slightly less advantageous play than the three guys above him. And a lot of that is probably due to the salary anywhere you can play. He's the most expensive pitcher out of this big four, and he's our lowest ranked. So that's why he's slightly less of a priority. 15.2 off index, still very good. And he has by far the best uh, recent batted ball data against out of any of these top options in our model on this slate. So I have to like Zach Wheeler at least a little bit. As always, we do like to look at the guys ranked at the bottom of our model for pitchers to target with our offenses. Jalen Beeks is a reliever opener type, so that's why he's at the bottom here. He does not project for much length at all. Patrick Corbin, the the worst real starter, I would say, in the model tonight. Uh, 8.8 off index, followed up very closely by Bo Brieski here of the Tigers with 8.9 off index. The Phillies and the Tigers, I think, are the two teams I'm most interested in as of this moment on this slate. They don't project for very much strikeout upside, um, their bat at ball data hasn't been as poor as we've expected recently, but feel like these are a couple of lineups that could find success tonight. Over in our stacks dashboard, no surprise, we have the Phillies number one by off index on this slate, number one by isolated slugging, number one by weighted on base average, number one by implied team total on the main slate here on Thursday evening. Safe to say the Phillies are going to be the most popular team that people stack in DFS tonight. Now, the Rangers have the second highest implied team total on this slate at just 5.1, at 5.19 total runs, excuse me. That's a really strong uh, situation that we're in here. And they have extreme line movement in their favor, uh, an increase of almost three quarters of a run in betting markets early here on Thursday morning. So have to like what they bring to the table. Bo Brieski is not a very high strikeout upside pitcher. He just has 0.65 strikeouts per inning over the last year's worth of his outings. So he's definitely someone that's well worth targeting here because the balls are going to be in play frequently. In fact, when we look at some of his advanced numbers, Brieski allows an elite isolated slugging and weighted on base average to right-handed hitters especially. 316 isolated slugging, 407 weighted on base average in that time period. A lot of strong options in the in the Rangers lineup, excuse me, as a result against the Tigers pitcher. We like Adolis Garcia in the outfield, number one on this stack. Ezekiel Durant, a value middle infielder at just $2,500 in DraftKings, $2,800 on FanDuel. Um, very good stack cast, batted ball data and performance recently for a lot of these hitters. Looks like Adolis Garcia, uh, Cole Calhoun, and Corey Seager at shortstop all have really strong recent batted ball performance there. So I'm really intrigued by the, by the Rangers tonight. I do think 
that may end up being a really strong direction to go for a primary or a secondary stack tonight. Have to love the Phillies, though, against Patrick Corbin. We always pick on the left-handed Patrick Corbin with uh, hitters from either side of the plate. Corbin has been a favorite target of ours for a while. Usual suspects for the Phillies at the top here. Reese Hoskins, Nick Castellanos, Bryce Harper, Alec Baum, JT Realmuto. And pretty good batted ball data recently for all of these Phillies hitters with Bryce Harper, no surprise there, being the number one uh, recent batted ball profile-wise to target in DFS. Now over on DraftKings, you see I like Otani, number one, is my favorite pitcher, so I have him slotted in. I have five high upside Phillies hitters in here, 4,900 per player remaining. I could just play the highest uh, likelihood starting pitcher to do very well tonight, which is Zach Wheeler, a little lower in our model for high risk, and still have 33, 33 per player remaining if I want to go that direction. That means I can play our straight-up number one ranked play and still have a little more to work with. So I think it's a pretty easy slate to play this way, and it'll be even easier to play whatever you want at hitter if you stack the Rangers, who are significantly cheaper than some of these Phillies hitters. Uh, So that's certainly another path that you can consider. Over on DraftKings, Otani, four high upside, uh, Phillies hitters here. In fact, I went with Baum over Hoskins. Let's see what it looks like with Hoskins. 2,500 per player on the nose remaining if you go this route. I think that's a pretty valid way to play this slate. If you want more information, you're going to have to keep an eye out for the daily plug that we post at OccupyFantasy.com. That'll be up by about 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for tonight's slate. If you want to talk about MLB DFS up until then, you can consider joining our Discord. There's a link to do so below the description of every video we post in this channel. We'd love to see you in there. Good luck tonight. We'll talk to you tomorrow for more MLB DFS.